Oh no. We'll go downstairs. Already. <laughs> Just in time. Good morning, Cowan Hats. Not as nice as yesterday. Wet out. Not sure if we're supposed to get more rain or not. Either way, no motorcycle riding for me today. My back is a little sore, and I gotta take it easy on that. Getting old. So I'm gonna stick to reading for a bit, drinking coffee for a bit, meditating for a bit. I gotta make a trip to the library today to pick up second book in that Witcher series that's ready for me now so that's about it for me plan supper yeah that's it oh yes and take my medications I almost forgot week one again back to week one it's my second day on these new meds I'm pretty sure four are the same as before. Cause I got one for my cholesterol, one for my stomach, one for my sugars. Oh yeah, one's an anti-anxiety med and I think that new one is that white one. Small white one. And that's, uh, I think it's an antidepressant if I'm not mistaken. You'd think I know what pills I'm taking, wouldn't you? Yeah, I don't like med changes. Yeah, med changes suck, or usually they do. The last couple I had were brutal on me. It laid me up for a couple months, pretty much. I don't think this is gonna have the same effect because the other time I was coming off a of medication and starting another one. This time, I'm not really coming off one, I'm just switching and hopefully that's better. And I couldn't forget my breakfast of champions protein bear. That's all I live off of. It's protein bars. And then at night I binge on all kinds of sweets and stuff so I kind of balance out I think. Make yourself comfortable. So this is week 15, I think, of my ketamine treatments. Yeah. Speaking of ketamine, my psychiatrist who deals with ketamine is calling me right now. That was his office calling to rebook another appointment for another month. I love appointments. Anyway, uh, I don't know if you watched last week's video of my ketamine update or whatever but <clears throat> I was having a few really bad days and uh, had a couple breakdowns and anyway I informed him of all that and uh, again he reassured me that this is not the end of like what I'm going through right now with the ketamine treatments that's that's not it there's still more tricks up the sleeve 
So the plan is now is I'm going to continue doing these nasal sprays. But once they're finished, they're going to switch me over to doing it through intravenous. So that means instead of having weekly appointments, it'll end up being maybe once every two weeks or once a month, something like that. Anyway, time will tell. We'll see how things go. Um, I might just run away or ride away from everybody, just hop on a motorcycle and go and just uh, turn the phone off. That's what my plan could be yet, who knows. So I just finished doing a meditation and it wasn't an effective one because I was distracted a bit too much. Remember I said earlier, I don't think I'm going to feel the effects of these new meds as much than the med changes. Well, I'm wrong because it's only been maybe an hour since I took those and already I'm feeling right dizzy, disoriented, and you know, I don't know if you ever had those brain zaps where you move your eyes and you can feel these weird sensations inside your head and sometimes it actually radiates throughout your body. That's kind of what I'm going through now. So my brain zaps are back. So that tells me that this might not be as simple a process as I was hoping because I definitely can't ride motorcycle or maybe even drive like this. I got to Everything's on pause now. I was hoping to go to the library, see if this settles. Because right now I'm not safe to drive anywhere. Well, I'm going to have to give Waking Up by Sam Harris a little break because uh, there's a second book that I have ordered or reserved at the library that's available now. So I got two books to go down and pick up. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to focus on those two now. So it looks like I'm going to the library for a drive now. Sorry Rex, gotta get up pups. Sorry, but I gotta ditch you for a little bit. Let's hope my uh, library card is in here. Oh yes, there it is, perfect. I'm all set. That's the follow up to the last switch, or the last wish. And this one is going to be interesting, I think. It's all about our lack of free will. It's an illusion. Made it back. Might as well take this guy for a little stroll. Come on, walk. Yes, we're gonna go. Always be a responsible dog owner and pick up after your dog. Right, Rex?
the air is very still today and the birds are very noisy. They're chirping away, singing away, communicating. Probably mating calls most likely this time of year. But it feels like it's gonna rain any minute now. So we'll see if I get home in time. Looks gloomy. See how complicated this is? He's not paying attention to me. <laughs> There's a sign of spring, a worm. Come on in. What are you looking at? Huh? Hey, what do you see there? Hey. Okay, stay. Stay. Okay. Now I have a decision to make. Which one? To start with, I'm thinking I'm going to leave the Witcher for afterwards and kind of save that as a bit of a reward for reading the other one. So I'm going to lay that one down, but I'm going to go into this one with the understanding that if it's too complicated or too much for me, I'm just going to drop it and go back to the Witcher for some lighter reading. Skimming through it. It looks more like a bloody textbook than something that I'm going to read for recreational purposes. Damn, it's a big book. How many pages? A lot of this, I think, is just uh, mumble jumbo, like index acknowledgements and things like that. So that's good. I'm getting through a couple hundred pages here. Just uh, notes, appendix. I never read the appendix. Acknowledgements, so it looks like, can't even focus, and I don't have my readers on. So I don't even know what page that is. <laughs> Zoom in, 404, all right. So it's 404 pages long, and I'm gonna try to read it in a week. What's well, 400 divided by seven? I don't know offhand. So I just did the math and that's 57 pages a day I'd have to read in order to complete this in a week. 57 might be a bit too much for me. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm gonna cut that in half roughly. I'm gonna aim for 30 pages a day and finish this in two weeks or less. That sounds more reasonable, I think realistic, especially with motorcycle riding starting too now. Well, we didn't get that rain I was thinking we were going to get. Only for that, I might have went for a motorcycle ride, but <clears throat> I kept busy. I read about 20 pages in that book so far and uh, made a new video, which I'll be uploading soon. You'll probably see that before you see this one, because this one is going to be probably Friday. Which doesn't really matter to you right now as I'm talking to you, because this is past tense for you, but present for me. Anyway, I'm just going to keep smoking this and uh, enjoying the weather. All my snow is almost gone. That's a good thing. So we're supposed to get snow later this week. Hopefully it turns to rain. <laughs> it's gonna be windy though, either way, it's gonna suck. Eggs are high in protein, right? And are great for breakfast. Am I correct? <laughs> One egg is one serving of protein. At least that's what I remember from my personal training days. Yes, I used to be a personal trainer one time. Imagine that. Yay, Wheel of Fortune time. So I'm on supper duty and 
this is what I'm making and I'll show you what I did. I was watching this for about 10 minutes because that's what the instructions said and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't thickening up. And then I realized I forgot to put the noodles in. So waiting again for another 10 minutes. And I ran out of milk, so I used coffee cream. And to throw another loop into this whole recipe tonight. Didn't have any hamburger meat, so I had to use ground turkey. And that is definitely not the same in these hamburger helpers. The reason, there's a reason they're not called ground turkey helpers. Despite my couple screw-ups with this recipe, I, uh, it tastes pretty good, so I'm safe. I didn't ruin anything. I see now we're finally getting the rain that I thought we were gonna get earlier. These are the special ones that were made just for veterans. This one's a sativa. It's not too bad. It's pretty mellow, nothing too strong, which is the way I like it. Another one to the pile. Good morning, Cowan Heights. It's a gloomy day. A little bit of rain this morning by the looks of it. And today is Ketamine Wednesday. Had to do it earlier this morning. Well, not yet. I'm leaving in about 20 minutes, but it was supposed to be at one o'clock, but they changed it to 11.30. So waiting for my cab now. While I'm waiting for my cab, I'm watching my last video that I made on this. Go check out Southern Shore. Beautiful scenery of me on my motorcycle. Did I ever mention how much I don't like medication changes? Well, my psychiatrist changed my meds again. Started, I started on Monday, so today is Wednesday. So this is my third day. And I mentioned the, earlier that they cause brain zaps and stuff like that, and, and it's no different this morning. Very disoriented, dizziness. Like I move my eyes and I feel all weird and messed up. I, but this time I even got, uh, I broke out in a cold sweat, nauseated. It's a whole bunch of symptoms coming with that one little <clears throat> one little pill. I'm starting to wonder if all the side effects are uh, are worth the hassle or not. Well, one thing I can celebrate, I guess, is in the last week I didn't have any meltdowns or breakdowns. At least I didn't express them in a public way. I guess is one way of putting it. It's like I didn't kick the barbecue, I didn't yell and curse at the neighbor's dog or anything like that this week. I don't think I cried much either. That cut back a little bit as well. And I don't think I'm ready to give ketamine credit for any of it really. Because you'd think if ketamine was going to work, I'd be after feeling the effects of it or something significant by now. 
But these things that are happening, like I went for three motorcycle rides this week, and with each of those rides, I recorded video footage. So I've been kind of active making videos and riding. Plus I've been doing reading. So those are the things that are, that I think are pushing me through this right now and not so much the ketamine. Because uh, even before the ketamine, I was riding motorcycle, right? But that's it. You gotta be a good boy and do what the psychiatrist tells me to do, right? And, uh, I mean, he's the professional, I'm not. So I gotta put my trust in him and uh, any decisions he makes towards my mental health. It's challenging at times, especially like right now going through another medication change, which drives me insane. But uh, I gotta trust the process, I guess, and uh, fake it until you make it. And there's my ride. See you, Rex. Sorry, buddy. One thing is for sure, it's a lot quieter at this hour here. All the students are not around getting their uh, lunches and that. Still feeling nauseated. I'm thinking it's from the pill. Could be just being nervous, who knows. Too late to bail now. Gotta love these questionnaires. Sounding like a broken record now. First two squirts are in. And I was worried because they forgot the Tic Tacs, but then they remembered at the last minute. And for today's soundtrack, I'm using a song or sound called Metamorphosis from the Calm app. It's, uh, it's a very weird sounding uh, soundscape, if you ask me, but it's, uh, it's different. It's, it taps into my mind a different way. It's relaxing, so I'm going to give it a shot. I can actually smell those Tic Tacs. They're calling my name, but I gotta be patient. Got my second two squirts in. Have you ever had water go back into your nose? You know, you're swimming or something, and it gives that really bad burning sensation back through your sinuses and into your throat. That's what ketamine tastes like, just in case you're wondering. Third dose is in. Time for a Tic Tac. Now I'm just gonna relax and enjoy this. I'm about halfway through my session and I'm pretty, uh, only recording this I don't even know why I'm recording it, but just to show you how impaired you actually are when you're in the middle of a ketamine session, because I'm right out of it right now. Like, I don't even know what I'm saying. 
All done, just uh, hanging out, sobering up a little bit before I leave. Pretty sure that's my ride coming there. Made it home, my buddy's waiting. What's up, Rex? What you doing, pups? Get your sniffs in. After that, I'm hungry. Thirsty. And I'm decaffeinated. I need to get some caffeine, too. I must have done something wrong, but those little subs from Costco don't look too appealing. I think it's because I kept it in the bag when I uh, microwaved it. Well, I suppose I should at least test and see if it tastes all right. They might be okay when you're in a crunch and you want something just to fill the gap but they're not great that's for sure uh oh that's 104 that's 113 that means i left the bloody timer on and didn't let it go to zero i gotta reset that nothing worse than time left on a timer on a microwave there we go <laughs> there closer to being better <clears throat> got my belly full and got a little bit of water i'm good well it's raining out so i'm not going anywhere i'm gonna stay put i don't think i'm allowed to go anywhere anyway since i had that ketamine treatment well not behind a wheel or behind a set of handlebars anyway i could probably go for a walk but i don't really want to get wet so, uh, I think it's reading. Reading it is. Well, I'm going to be here for a little while, so I'm going to end this video and thank you again for tagging along and hanging out with me as I continue my ketamine journey. Good day, Cowan Heights. You suck today. You suck a lot. And I have some news. My ketamine treatments are done for now. Just had my psychiatrist appointment and he decided since the effects aren't really there, that he's gonna put a pause on it, or stop the nasal spray anyway. And once they get set up for the IV version, then they're gonna switch me over to that. I am not really sure how I'm feeling right now. And the reason I'm not sure how I feel right now is because this was presented to me as it's like a last ditch effort with depression, like for treatment resistant depression, ketamine is, is the go-to and uh, 
to have it not work. It is disappointing, it's disheartening, it's discouraging, it's demoralizing. It's, uh, the more it sinks in, the more it's taken a toll on my brain right now because if you followed any of my previous videos, you would see that I did have a lot of hope for this ketamine treatment to work. Because remember, fake it until you make it. Well, I faked it and didn't make it. Oh well, what do you do, right? I'm not sure who I'm trying to kid right now, but it's pretty, it's pretty demoralizing. I'm starting to be broken over it because I had these expectations that my life was going to start coming back together again. I was going to start having a better relationship with my wife, my family, and, uh, and all that's, uh, uncertain right now and yes the thought is there just just to give up that's uh that seems like it's the easy thing to do but i can tell you right now giving up is not an easy thing to do when you know you have so many people around you that care for you and are rooting for you and you know the impact that you would leave if you do give up. It's it's not an easy decision to give up and I don't even think it's a decision. It's just something that happens. Wouldn't life be so much better if the things that are good and positive in your life make you feel good and feel positive? It's not complicated, but yet I don't feel the positives and the joys and the love and the affection or anything like that. I don't know why. I just, uh, whatever, however things got wired in my head, that's just the way it works. And it's, uh, it's a horrible, horrible, empty and lonely feeling. As much as I want to give up, I can't. I mean, just look what's written on that mug right there. That's a gut punch of a reminder of why I just can't give up. I need to do my best to stick around. And it's, and it's what I'm going to do. It's what I'm going to try to do. It's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. Because every waking minute is... Well, not every waking minute. There's a few minutes in there. I don't feel this way. But most of the time... I just want it to end. There's only so much riding you can do on a motorcycle. Even that gets old quick for me. Long rides, I get restless and agitated and just like, all right, I just wanted to get the heck home. I had enough of this. Like I said, the good things, the things that used to bring me joy and excitement are just memories they're like little myths or fables or stories from long ago some kind of lore it's jason's lore that's what happiness is it's my lore and it's nobody's fault like i can't blame anybody for how i'm feeling how i'm reacting how i'm living or anything like that it's uh, it's it's all on me uh People do what they do. People live. They make noises. They rattle dishes. They turn on lights. They listen to TV shows or whatever it might be. I'm the miserable, grumpy old bastard, right? It's like right now, at this very moment, I can hear my neighbor's vehicle back in the driveway. And it's annoying me. Why would that annoy me? I have no idea. 
I think it's because when they close the doors of their vehicle, it always makes their walls rattle and it causes this little bit of a concussion kind of a feeling inside the house. So that could have something to do with it. And that's another reason I need to move. It's too close, too close. And who knows, maybe if I had more space, I was able to get outside and wander aimlessly around my yard and do house yard work or, or whatever it might be, then who knows, maybe things might be different. But I'm in a situation where I don't like going outside because there's always somebody out there. And I don't like having people around when I do anything. And that goes for just simply hanging out outside, enjoying the weather maybe. Like, I just don't like having people around, especially people who are busy. Like, uh, my neighbor's very busy. He's in and out of the house constantly. Lights are on, lights are off. He's on his headset talking to somebody on the phone out loud and walking around the neighbor, walking around his yard. And this dog starts barking and his brother-in-law comes over who has this very loud boisterous voice that is it drives me absolutely insane it's like nails on a chalkboard and and again nobody's doing anything wrong but these are my physiological mental psychological whatever reactions to whatever's going on around me Anyway, enough of all of that. So I'm gonna sign off, and this is the last ketamine update you're gonna be getting for a while. And uh, once I start the IV portion, I might start doing these again, we'll see. But uh, in the meantime, I guess I, I gotta continue faking it, right? Can't give up, gotta keep trying. So anyway, thanks again to everybody who has joined me on my journey and uh, stuck with me this far. Take care of yourselves, and I wish you nothing but the best.